making a bunch of stuff today. Today, that's my dough. Hello! Thank you for watching another fascinating episode of Cookie with MFB. Today, we're going into the new book, book, book. We are making dough! That's my dough! Let's start with some warm water. Well, it's a good thing. We got that beer first. You need beer. You don't really need beer, but beer helps. We got ourselves some water. We got medium heat, low medium heat. You don't want a hot water. You don't want to kill your yeast. Anything over 110 degrees, you're going to be killing your yeast. You don't want to do that. So, right about 110 degrees. Not much more than that. We're getting there. We are getting there slowly. Nothing more than 115. We got ourselves three quarters of a teaspoon. I'm sorry. Three quarters, three quarters of a tablespoon. Jeez. It's convenient that this is three quarters of a tablespoon because I need one and one half tablespoons. So, two packets. Ooh! Ooh! We need to calm stuff down. We need to get this off the heat. I think we're close enough. It was bouncing around. Did you see that? I saw it. Next! We've got ourselves a third cup of sugar. We want one more third. We want two thirds cup sugar. See what I mean? We took it out of here a second ago, and it's still too hot. We need to bring that down to 110, at least 110. Oh, no! So what we can do is we can mix this up over here, you know, get a little air in there and get two cups worth of warm water. It should cool down a little bit. Uh-huh. We cool in. We cool in. Yeah. All right, just a little bit more. Oh, yes! Oh, oh, yes! In there, give it a good old whisk. Break up those clumps of untouched water in between the yeast and let it... Just let that sit. Chill out a little bit. Listen to some tunes. Come back in like a half an hour. That warm water is going to wake up that yeast. You're going to see a big old bunch of foam happening. And that sugar is going to feed that yeast. It's going to be like a buffet. A half an hour. Let's preheat our oven. We got other things we got to bake. All right, this thing's going to get in the way. So we need to calmly... Don't disturb the yeast. You don't want to get a yeast infection disturbing the yeast. I've seen many people get stabbed over disturbing a yeast. And then what happens when you get stabbed in a dirty area? You get infected. Right about now, you're asking yourself, Dough? What are you making dough for? Well, we make dough a lot over here at Cooking With Him. Look at them green old bananas. What are we doing with green old bananas? I'm going to put them on a baking sheet. All right, take the bananas. Calmly, don't spill the bananas. Put that into the oven for 10 minutes. Alright, let's check it in like 7. We want to flip it in 7, I think. You will need a large baking tin, pan thing. 9 by 5! Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. We're making more than just dough here on Cooking with MFB because that's a very boring subject. <laughs> You're probably very confused. Yeah, we're making banana banana, banana bread with uh, nuts. Uh, uh, first thing we need is some butter. One half cup of butter. Put in one of those and melt it. About 45 seconds what you want to go for. It will melt quickly once it gets to that 15 second mark, I swear. Let's see if we can get there. No, we're running out of time! We need eggs. Two eggs, to be a fact. Two whole eggs. Don't yoke around. You got those eggs! Oh, grab those eggs tight! We need to check those first. We gotta check that first, hold on. 
Prices and participation may vary. We all right. We all right. We can. Oh yeah, we getting there. We might need another seven minutes at least. Yeah, another seven minutes at least. They need to be brown on the other side. They brown all over, really. You'll get the ticket. It might take twenty minutes. We're gonna take ourselves some vanilla extract and just sort of pour that right on there. That sort of eliminates two vessels of juggling. We got ourselves two eggs. Speaking of two vessels. I'm gonna take that melted butter and put that on in there. Now, let's mix it! Mix it well. You don't want any particulates left over. Mix it as well as you can. Good job! That's a great job! Ha! We're halfway there! Oh! Those look like some ripe-ass bananas! Anybody else would be like, What have you done?! You burnt bananas! But the inside of that is all oh, that sugar city right there. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna operate real quick. We're gonna take a nice incision and just go like that. Very nice! Now we're just gonna take and uh, do a little cut like that. That exposes pretty much the majority of everything. Let's mash some bananas. Like that, just mash it in there. Just keep on mashing until you get yourself some mashed bananas. You don't want to... Mmm! That looks like baby food! But it smells amazing. Let's move on to the flour. We got one cup of flour going into our sifter. Oh man, that's a chunk of flour right there. Next, we got another half a cup of flour right there. So that's one and a half cups of flour we have. Next, we got one teaspoon of baking soda. Make sure that it's pure. Don't have it cut with anything else, like cocaine. One half of a teaspoon of salt goes in there next. We're going to mix that right on into our egg concoction. Right on over here. Right there. See what I mean? You know, you got to spin that knob. I'm not a good knob and camera spinner. So, uh, I'll be right back. No. Look how light and fluffy it looks. It's so light and fluffy! Let's mix it. You better be light and fluffily stirring it too! Next is the weirdest thing I've ever thought of, but sour cream. I didn't think of it. Somebody else did. But one half cup of sour cream goes in there. Look at that! It looks amazing! We need to put that in there though. Yet. I'm glad I caught you. You would have stirred it. We would have been upset. I would have been upset. I don't know about you, but I at least would have been upset. All right. Got it in there, right? No, oh, we got three quarters of a cup of some walnuts that have been chopped all nice by a machine in a factory. Next, we got that baby food. I mean, that pureed banana that we made up, mashed it up all nice and mashed. Let's scoop it in there. What? It's good. I liked it. I'll drink it. All right, we're just going to nice and lightly mix all this stuff until it's well incorporated. Next, we need to lubricate our pan. We don't want our precious muffin loaf bread thing. gonna put this in the oven for an hour a whole damn hour it gives us time to clean this mess but wait we're not done you may recall earlier in the episode we started our yeast cultivation and look at that thing what so I'm gonna take that and we're gonna pour that into a larger bowl yeah, yeah, and uh, mix it with some salt. One half of a tablespoon, or one and one half teaspoons of salt. Put that on in there. That's your flavoring. That's like your only source of flavoring. So work it. Next, we need six cups of bread flour. Today, I'm choosing to use three cups of bread flour and three cups of oh, grain rye flour. Hopefully it turns out well. 
Otherwise, just use six cups of that. Introduce one cup at a time. No clump left behind. I'm a poet. I don't even know it. There comes a time in somebody's life where the spoon doesn't cut it. The scraper doesn't cut it. You got to use your metal fist. Made an executive decision. Decided for metal fisting. You need metal. It only goes hand in hand. All right, transfer that to the table. Let's get to kneading. You want to push out, pull back, push out. Slower though, slower though. So push out with the heel of your hand. Fold it over. Push out, and then come back with. So what all that kneading does is it sort of traps these molecules of gluten together, and it makes this sort of matrix or like a. The best analogy I could give you is if you threw a big old net over some balloons and it caught all of those balloons. The more you mash down, the more you make different little knots that make these mesh little things. And the finer mesh thing that you have, the more balloons you trap. And those balloons, that's actually the gas that's released by the yeast. So we're going to take this, put it in here, but first, before we put it on in there and get all nimbly and bimbly, we're going to oil this. So we got to clean up some of this funk, but oil. Alright, so we're just going to take a little bit of oil, I'd say about a quarter of a cup. It's a lot, but you want to sort of wrap it around the side, it's going to coat the edge of this. Take your ball of dough and just throw it in there and slap it around the side so you get even coverage of the uh, that oil. And some saran wrap. I bet you can't even tell it's there. Look how good that is. That's flawless. Anyways. You know, sort of take that and put it into like a warm area. Look at that. We're baking stuff. Right on top of the oven. Who knew? You got like a wet towel or something. Cover it with it. I got one of these little fancy placemats. They do wonders, believe it or not. Anyways. All right. So that's doing its raiding thing. We got that bacon, we got 13 minutes left. Let's go over some sourdough. Ho, ho, ho! So, this is what's called a mother. What I did was I took three cups flour, three cups of water, two tablespoons of honey, even though it says sugar. I let that sit for like four days. Oh, I didn't have the, I did not have it all open in the wide open in the wilderness. I had it covered lightly, and wild yeast found its way in. You'll be quite impressed if you do the same thing, the same thing will happen. Wild yeast will find its way in there, and you'll have this growth. Now this is a starter. You, After you make this, you'll want to feed it one cup of water, one cup of sugar every week to keep it satisfied. It's called a mother. Entirely sure if I said sugar or flour. I meant flour. One cup flour, one cup of water. It'll be happy. Trust me. Stir it in there. There's some bubbles going on, so I'm a little bit confident this is my first run at sourdough, so bear with me. This could be a nightmare. We need ourselves two cups of this good old amazing greatness. So, yeah, two cups. You got your two cups in there. You got a lot left. Put that into one of these little Ziploc or Lipper Saver things. Yeah, put it into one of those things. You want to uh, feed it one time per week. One cup flour, one cup sugar. I mean water. Whoa, it's been an hour already. You know what time that is. Oh, it's banana time. You know, the best thing to do is split this in half and send it to somebody that you love. And then they'll make it. Put those in the fridge and just let them hang out. Remember, feed them once a week. Set an alarm for it. Now it's time. Some more flour.
So the name sourdough suggests that it does have a sour taste. So a little bit of sugar doesn't hurt. Two teaspoons of sugar. Get it on in there. Tuck it on in there like some swimwear. Now we want another teaspoon or so of salt. Maybe two. We're going two. Yeah, we're going for two. Two teaspoons of salt. Real salt, not that fake salt. No low sodium salt over here. Next, we got ourselves two whole cups of flour. Oh, you know what to do. Oh, you know what to do. Ooh. Yeah, you know what to do. All right. Get the sifted. All right, now you gotta mix it. It's looking a little thick, so let's throw a uh, half a cup, maybe even a whole cup, of some warm water. All right, that's looking like a dough. Let's put that over here and do the same thing. Put the palm of your hand into the base of the dough. Repeat the process. You want to mash it. Just push right into it like you're trying to mash somebody's face that owes you money. Give me my money! Pull it back. Where's my 50 cents from the arcade, Jimmy? Mortal Kombat, mother Now for best results, you're going to want to weigh your flour and your other ingredients. Weight is better than... Volume. This thing's always cutting me off. Rude. Anyways, we're going to want to grease this and put that in there. Volume. This thing always cuts me off. It's the rudest thing ever. Anyways, I'm going to loop your pan now. Let the thing hang out again. Put it right on in you know, a warm ass stove. Ah ha! Alright, looking at our rated hat, it looks like it's doing its job. Whoa, it's huge! One would say it's doubled in size. What? Where's the loaf? Oh, that's right. It's being streamed live. That! You can catch me on that! You can catch me on Snapchat. Name is Ma Fucking B. M U F F U C K. Underscore B. Or you can check me out on uh, YouTube. Cooking with MFB. I'm also on Facebook. And I just started doing Twitter. Don't judge me. Ah, slice this thing. We got some dough we got to play with too, so let's wrap things up. What? Man, look how big that thing is. It's huge. All right, so we have almost say she's doubled in size. All right, so you beat that thing up. Good job. It owe you a couple cents anyways. We put our Dutch oven in there. We're going to go with the Dutch oven today. That thing's going to warm up and give ourselves a nice crust. We put that dough in there. It's going to be, uh, hopefully, it should turn out pretty good. I am a little scared. All right. The dough has gone into the Dutch oven. And a pot of water's right there just for some extra steam and loving. We're going to check back in about 20 minutes. Really skeptical about this dough. Really skeptical. Think that wheat. I think the wheat flour sort of threw everything off a little bit. I don't know. I'm just still not, I don't know. I'm just not satisfied with the amount of uh, leavening that it's done. We'll see. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, we might have something here. All right. It looks golden. Giant crack in the middle of that. I don't know, but... Now we can't just be diving right in. We gotta let that thing cool down. I can still feel it. It's hot. We need to wait a little bit. We got about 10 minutes left. Less than 10 minutes. We are 
waiting for the sourdough to finish up. All right, I think it's calmed down enough. It's cooled down enough. Let's see what we got. Let's slice it. All right, so the sourdough I sort of rushed through, and it's all right. But I didn't think I gave enough time for the yeast cultivation. Yeah, I don't believe I gave it enough time to have that yeast sort of uh, turn into and multiply and all that other stuff. But, I know what I did. Let's slice this thing! It looks like bread! Let's get another slice in here and see what we can do here. See what it tastes like, you know what I'm saying? We made it, fam! We got sourdough, we got some whole grain, we got banana nut. What is wrong with want to thank you for cooking with MFB. We made it. And you washed it. And I appreciate that twice as much. Keep on cooking on!